Hello Capricorn. Thank you so much for joining me at Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your angel advice oracle card messages for the week of September 10th through the 16th. We are going to hear from Archangel Michael by Doreen Virtue. Also by Doreen Virtue, Ascendant Masters, messages from your angels by Doreen Virtue, and also messages from the fairies by Doreen Virtue. Oops, sorry about that. And an advice card. Just a chakra wisdom oracle card. Um, an advice card by Tori Hartman. They are amazing cards. They really are. Okay. So, my new subscribers, let, let me just take a minute to thank you guys for taking the time to subscribe. Welcome to the channel. Um, I also want to give you guys a chance to, to get in on my free reading that I'm giving. I like to do one once a month on my Facebook page. So, those of you that want to get in it, you know, now, now's a good time. There's only like 200 and some people on it. But, um, any of you that want to get in on it, it is going to be a 14 card reading, usually more with clarifiers. It's a $50 reading. All you have to do is just simply click the link below the video that will take you directly to my Facebook page. Just simply like the page, that's it. Um, that's all you have to do. Um, I will be picking the winner on September 11th. I will be videoing that. And hopefully giving the reading on the 12th. That's the day I'd like to give it. Those of you that have asked about a PayPal button. I have added one. It is located on my home page in the About section. Um, it is highlighted in blue and again, I apologize for those of you who haven't heard me say this, you know, I just didn't realize that not everybody has access to Facebook, but those of you that would like to go through the PayPal on my Facebook, it is located, um, under in prism. And just one final thing. Now that I'm doing, you know, the Oracle card messages for every sign, if this reading does not resonate with you in any way, really check your moon or your rising sign. Cafeastrology.com Cafeastrology.com Extremely accurate. And it literally takes under a minute. Like, it is so fast, it's ridiculous. Okay, guys. Archangel Michael. Take time. Take your time making this decision. You know, th I just feel like this whole week for you is about waiting for information. Searching for more information. This card is, you know... It, you're praying about a situation where, you know, there's confusion, indecision. And this card is a sign that, you know, you shouldn't rush into anything. More information will be revealed as time passes. Which will naturally guide your actions. So for right now, there's no need to rush or force, it, force anything. The opportunity is not going to go anywhere if you don't jump on it immediately. Others will definitely wait, you know, for you. You know, and it's your decision. It's your best course of action is to slow down, take your time. You know, with this card too, to don't sign any kind of contracts yet. You know, maybe negotiate a better deal. Slow down a little bit on a new relationship. Just 
take a step back, ask more questions before saying yes. And definitely don't be pursued by other people. You know, they could be thinking of themselves. And with that card, they probably are. Um, from the Ascendant Masters, focus upon your strengths. I also forgot to mention, too, actually, from the Archangels, or, yeah, from the messages from your angels. Actually, two cards came out for you guys. That never happens, and they literally flew out. So, I'm a firm believer in that. You know, I don't mess around with that. That's spirit, spirit's way, especially for me, telling me. It doesn't matter if, if it's four cards. Very seldom does it happen, but they both flew out together, so. That's very, um, they're both really beautiful cards. But, okay, this one. Sorry. I get a habit of getting carried away sometimes. But, um, this card just reminds you to focus upon your strengths. Not upon, you know, any perceived weaknesses. Definitely, um sticking to me um, you know your strengths could include you know your loving heart pure intentions people skills hobbies you know something that you excel in even if your talents still need polishing you know these are strengths and and, and assets so the more you bliss and appreciate your strength you know the stronger they'll grow if you focus upon so-called weaknesses they will grow. You know, this card is just a reminder, you know, of the import and the importance of viewing yourself with compassion and love. You know, anytime you feel yourself thinking or feeling poorly about yourself, focus upon your strengths instead. You know, for some of you, not, not even some, you know, but it could just be, you know, this is a message of love or healing about a brother or brother figure. That's probably for one person, but um, there's healing in that situation. could possibly try to be make a, a decision on. Okay, messages from your angels. Like I said, two did fall out for you guys. Okay, but we have Merlina. Now, Merlina says at the bottom, you are confused and indecisive because you do not have enough information. Do research seek expert advice before making a decision and your next card is the same thing almost exactly to a t only do some research so okay with this card you have you know felt like you're chasing your tail you know looking at this option then that option, then this undecisiveness, it's, it's exhausting you. And the reason that you are confused is because you don't have all the information you need to make an informed decision. You know, your choices appear 
too um, similar right now. But once you collect additional research information, you know, whatever it is for you, your decision will become, you know, more clear. You know, this card asks you to pray to God, the angels to enter your dreams, give you more information. You know, with this card, this is how I typically experience it. If your heart flutters with warmth, it's a sign that you're on the right path. For real. You know, I mean, especially if it's something you're passionate about, that you're excited to do every day. You know, like what I do for a for, for instance, I mean, you know, I do have a house cleaning service, but I mean, to be able to do this, like, all the time, seven days a week, I would, it would be really a dream come true, because every time I, I, I sit in front of these cards, sorry, I sit in front of these cards, you know, in this room, at this table, I mean, really, my heart just, it's, its a, it really is a feeling I've never experienced before. It's, it's, it's gratitude, it's, it's self-gratification, it's, I mean, your heart literally just is warm. Not with just love and enthusiasm and excitement, but uh, emotional bliss. Okay. Shantae. I am the angel of peace. I bring you tranquility and a smoother road ahead. So, I could see why they both needed to come out. You know? Maybe this is the week. The energy is definitely there. You know, these cards, really, I've had these cards definitely over a year. And really, th th this deck is really powerful. I know a couple of you um, have told me that you collect a lot of the Doreen Virtue cards. And really, if you don't have this deck... They're powerful, they're inspirational, and they're quite accurate. So are Archangel Michaels. You know, these ones I don't have too long, and I don't have the fairies too long either. But um, I'm definitely addicted to her Oracle cards. And I actually, I, I have like six more, because my birthday's coming up on the 11th. And Amazon gave me um, a, a fifty dollar um, like happy birthday gift card. I couldn't believe it. So yeah, I went nuts and just like bought a like probably I'll have every deck she has out. Uh, yeah, I think I only ha needed six or seven of her decks. But um, yeah, amazing. Okay. So, do some research. So again, it's another card of, you know, you, you need more information. This is really a week of, you know, you know, like finding the strength to move ahead, find the answers, you know, and just... You need, you need more information about this situation. Look into it further be before proceeding. 
Right. This card indicates that, you know, you're trying to make a decision without fully understanding of the situation. You know, spend time maybe doing some research, including, you know, aside from praying, you know, to God, your angels, that, you know, let your friends help you. Let other people help you. You know, now let them help you get information for you. You know, follow any leads, even intuitive feelings. You know, you know, signs. Um, you know, saying someone, you know, just someone saying something that, you know, boom, instantly clicks is the truth. You know, you could get this information really in any way, shape, or form. But really, you know, as you get this information, it could alter your original plans. It's fine. Don't let it get you all rattled. It'll be a positive change that will definitely you know, change the what is the word I'm looking for? You know, it'll bring a positive change that will garner you more blessings in the long run. Trust in the synchronicities that occur. Pay attention to that. Especially if you haven't heard me hear this, heard me say this before. If you hear or see something at three times in a short period of time, that's a strong message from the universe, your angels, trying to tell you something. Pay attention to that stuff. I never really, until I started reading up about Doreen Virtue and really, uh, I'm a Doreen Virtue um, addict. I, I, I absolutely am addicted to her, there's no doubt. But I never really, you know, she has a book out too, you know, your angel, you know, numbers. You know, like sometimes when you're behind a car and you'll see like your number like like 246, you know, say that was a house number. And you see a license plate, you know, with the last four numbers, 246. You don't really think about it at that time. But when you read one of her books or her angel message books, you know, it's like a sign from your angels. Okay, maybe play the daily number or... Think about something that happened at that home front back then, or, I don't know, it, it changes your thought process, you know, it's, it's better than getting aggravated and road rage, you know, I'm, I'm a Virgo, so, you know, you guys are earth signs too, so patience probably isn't one of your strong points either, but, um, definitely, synchronicities. And if your gut tells you no, trust your instinct this week. But, you know, Archangel Michael, there's no rush. If you need more information. There's definitely peace and tranquility coming. I just think for the rest of this week, it's, it's more about, you know, you guys sorry but it's more about you guys honestly just um, waiting it out doing more research waiting for that communication to come in but your foundation card you know I could I can almost feel the anxiety in you guys already because you know <laughs> impatience I don't, I don't know why I'm not surprised to see this card but um, you know I don't know why you know for as grounded as us earth signs are we're really not patient people but if you're if you 
All right, let, let me just go through the card, okay? So, with this card, this week reveals the necessity of waiting for the outcome. You know, when you when you ask your guides, you know, God, your whoever it is for you, the universe, you know, you, you need to, you know, I'm sorry, I just need to look at the card for a second. You know, you need to hold the intention to stay focused. You know, even that, even though what, you know, you desire may not be in physical form in, in your life just yet, don't give up. You know, or try to force a situation. You know, just like Archangel Michael, I'm telling you, his cards are extremely powerful. So you start with that card, and now this is really your, your foundation card, your, your advice card. I mean, it just, I mean, definitely don't give up, but, you know, know that, you know, what you focus on, you know, you will draw to it, definitely, with this card for sure. You know, but it's important to notice where you are on your path, okay? You know, impatience is based on fear and is therefore a block to actually create something. So the key is to allow spirit and others to assist you in breaking through to the next level in your life. So when you reach a plateau, you sometimes must simplify wait for the next steps to appear and they will by you know the signals the signs that you're going to receive um you know it could be i mean like You know, this week, you know, just aside from definitely staying patient, you know, notice your reaction to behavior. You know, if you find yourself in judgment, you know, or, or if, you know, that upsets you, it may be just that you're, you know, closing in on a desired outcome and fear is actually happening remember that it is that it's it's darkest just before the star just before the storm I mean that's the moon card there too and you therefore must be closer than you think to success so this week, ask yourself each day, you know, am I waiting to trust the great spirits? You know, what will it take to trust that I am divinely guided? You know, my moon sign is in Capricorn and really this reading is really, um, I mean, this card really is. I mean, I'm not really waiting on anything. Or trying to make a decision about anything. See, that's my, that's exactly a, a, a prime example. Now for me, the only part of this reading that really resonates with me is this card. Because, you know, we're earth signs. We are definitely impatient people. I mean, there's no doubt I've gotten better over the years, but I'm getting off track here. But, I mean, this card, I mean, definitely, you know, I mean, that resonates for all of us. We all could use more, more peace, more tranquility. I mean...
but for the rest of it, you know, feeling confused, indecisive, making a decision, waiting for information to come in. No. But I did Virgo, too, because it's the birthday month. And, um... I mean, that, really, that reading really didn't resonate, re resonate with me either. That's why I say it's important. But now my, my Venus sign is Scorpio. So, maybe that one. But, you know, you could get a, you know, a little, take a little bit of information with you from each one. Is, is always my suggestion. Um. But, I mean, in any event, I mean, it really does look like a beautiful, I mean, as long as you stay, you know, patient, you know, instead of, you know, the anxiety of being impatient, and believe me, you know, let the power of this angel of peace, I mean, this is a beautiful card. You know, just rest upon you this week. This week, just do your research. Take your time. No, nothing, nobody is going nowhere this week. Archangel Michael says so. Okay, Capricorn, that is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to view the video. You guys really should have a fantastic week. You know, you really should get all the information that you guys want. If not this week, next week. See what next week's cards have to say. But you guys have a fantastic and blessed week, and I will see you back here with the morning Oracle card messages. Bye-bye.